This is a video response to a request for some rough dimensions for this uh, folding shave horse. I thought it's the simplest way to do it, to do a quick measure up. Now I will emphasize that I worked from the uh, country workshop plans um, and so most of the measurements do match those and the angles certainly follow those plans. Uh, but there were some variations. So let's just have a look. Basic uh, length. Now, here uh, in Australia, we use the metric system. Uh, now, I personally, I grew up working with my father building and he utilised uh, Imperial. So who what that gave me was the ability to work in either and convert readily. So I'll give you both measurements. So depending where you come from, it'll work for you. So in metric, the length of the body is 1200. Uh, that is four feet in Imperial. The, these are basically six by twos and the old uh, Imperial or uh, 150 by 50 pieces have been cut down at this stage to 80 or it's around about three inches of work and this cut down section is around two and a half feet or 750 long. Uh, the actual legs I followed the country workshop length which is uh, about 550 or 22 inches. Uh, the front one because it mounts here from a different swivel point the at a lower point and it's actually coming higher here for the stop needs to be a little bit longer and it was yeah 24 inches or 600 in length on that one now for the uh, main arms here that's probably where I did vary and look it's uh, 815 so look, you don't need to be totally precise on that 815 is about uh, 2 foot 9 uh, and they are just uh, 3 by 2s or 735 by 50s I brought you in here closer to get some measurements on this pivot point because that was um, <clears throat> one of the trickier things to work out because I was differing from country workshops in this section. Uh, you'll see here a hole where I uh, tried to do something different and decided it didn't work. Uh, there's a couple of lies around. We always try things when you're experimenting a little bit. The measurement here coming from the front is 300 or one foot and it's about 50 or two inches from the top so that's the the point to come to to drill your hole through uh, to put that bolt in and in terms of on the arm i've done it uh, 350 or 14 inches from the top that's a little bit uh, shorter here than it is down there because you need the leverage and particularly you'd lose a little bit when you went up to a higher adjustment uh, and uh, but it, it's pretty good you've got that flexibility there's a lot of power down there coming in a bit closer here I wanted you to have a look at the uh, vice point here I followed uh, the idea that country workshops have of having a square putting the V in uh, because it does allow you to grab onto a square piece of wood and you can swivel it depending what you want if you're not going to a square piece of wood and want to go to a round piece you can do it um, I've had no problems with it it's worked quite effectively the other thing uh, was this wedge that I made uh, and <laughs> it was just an idea at the time it works well uh, the concept is that it actually fits in between the two main stringers and it means that while it's giving a full width 
wedge, it doesn't slip sideways and impact on the arms as they move. Uh, when I first put a piece in there, I realised that could happen. And uh, I thought, oh, I'll put a piece down. It gives you a handle to slide it around as well. The other thing I'd recommend is doing something similar to what I did here with the seat. Carving it out for your body to sit in and make a more saddle-like seat. A lot of people just have the straight uh, solid piece of wood, which is pretty uncomfortable to sit on. And uh, You can, of course, pad it. Uh, but uh, this I thought was the more interesting. It's pretty rough. I just um, carved it out with the angle grinder with the uh, a sanding disc on it. But uh, it makes it far more comfortable to sit on and more pleasurable when you're doing some work. The area of principal difference to the Country Workshops version was this uh, workpiece here. Uh, this is far simpler than uh, what they use. The length of that is 375 or 15 inches. I played around with it. Uh, hinged it at the front by putting a piece of wood down in there. It's not so easy to see and a bolt through. You could put a, an actual hinge on the front if you liked. It's uh, simply however you wanted to do it. I was thinking of the ability to perhaps adjust the height at the front when I did this, uh, but I didn't end up using that. Uh, it's still an option. I could take the bolt out here and lift it up if I needed to. Okay, I think that's uh, the principal and basic measurements. Uh, as I say, do use the Country Workshop plans uh, for the angles and uh, that type of thing. So thank you for watching and subscribe if you'd like to see more.